What's going on guys? I'm Kyle Wahlberg here with Leica Geosystems and today we're going to share with you a pro tip that's going to save you a huge headache in the future. Right? We've all been on a job site and we all know that things happen, especially when it comes to control. So, in order to protect yourself against anything happening on your control points, lots of rain coming in and moving your stakes, someone kicking them, running them over with a truck, whatever, we're gonna set up secondary control points. Here's how. So, from my home screen here, I'm gonna select As Built. And you'll notice on As Built, I have two options here. I have Code and Start. I'm gonna go ahead and hit my Code button here, and under my toolbox, I'm gonna hit the New. I'm gonna name these points CP for Control Point, and I'm gonna go ahead and select a red triangle because I like that one. This way, when I'm laying out these points, I'll have them named control point, whichever number I'm on, and I'll mark them with a big red triangle. Whichever one you want is fine. Now what I've done already is I've marked X's on the ground for any location I think would be a good point for new control. Now you guys can mark them whenever you want, wherever you want, and you can use whatever method. You can drive in stakes, you can score the concrete, whatever. Just be thinking of places that are out of the way and have a good line of sight from your total station to them. And also take the time to lay out as many of these as you can, because the more options you have, the less likely it's going to matter if a few of these points get messed up. The more the better. So what I'll do after I've created my new code, I'm gonna take my field rod and I'm gonna to go to my first X on the concrete over here. If your total station isn't locked onto your prism like mine, I'm gonna go ahead and lock it on. So I'll hit my prism button up top, go to move and search, and move my total station over to me. Now once it's locked on, I'm gonna go ahead and place the tip of this field rod directly over my point. Then I'm going to be real careful with how plumb I'm at. I'll hit my start button and then I'll hit store. Now the more accurate I can be with these, the better. Because these are going to be your control points, guys. So you don't want them to be skewed at all. Now I'll hit another control point. I got another X right here. I'm going to repeat my last process. Put my field rod directly over this point. Hopefully it doesn't move once I place it. Plumb it up and hit store. Now I'll do it one more time for you just to look at it. Again, we're going to hit as many of these as we possibly can because I want lots of options in case any of these get messed up for one reason or another. Now, now that I've finished these, I'm gonna go ahead and lay out a few more, but I think you guys get the picture. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Kyle Wahlberg with Leica Geosystems, and I'll see you on the next video.